He rocked me in the cradle of his arm. Oh, when he knew I had departed and scorned. So it, it had not been for the Lord. On my side, tell me where would I be? Where Today has been a very special day in the life of FGBMFI CAN. The fellowship has been around for over 44 years. It's done so much, impacted so many lives. And you'll be surprised to know that even in the church, the number of church leaders we have today who had their foundations in this fellowship, absolutely incredible. But it just shows the faithfulness of God, even that when he started his ministry, he used laymen. He could have chosen people from the temple or from the synagogue but he chose laymen. So it tells us the potential that we have as laymen, people in the marketplaces, to fulfill God's agenda, to carry the gospel, the mission of the gospel at once. So full gospel has done this for so long. We felt it was time to document all that has, we have done, the path we have trodden. Not just so that we will rejoice at our accomplishments, but that will inspire the new generation, the future. Today is about the future, in as much as it has been about our history. Because as you and I will agree, Ghana still has a long way to go. We have corruption to deal with. We have all kinds of decadence creeping in from outside into our society. And unless the Christian community gets up, from being few warmers, attending church every Sunday, but being practical implementers of the lessons, the values that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us in their marketplace, in the, in the place of work, little like the little, we can transform our nation, we can transform our people, and we can make our world as beautiful as the Garden of Eden, which it was intended to be. So this is what today has been about, to launch our book, Go Ye, to inspire the future, to drive our fellowship forward, to do the things it was ordained to do, and to ensure that generations after us will stand and even do better than what those of our founding fathers have done in the past. So you've heard, we've honored some people, we have talked about what God has used this fellowship to do in Ghana. But the substance is in the book itself. And we pray that many will grab copies and read and take inspiration for the future. One of the amazing things we discover, even through working in our marketplace, that actually God intended us as mankind to be fruitful, to be active, to be productive, to multiply. He said to replenish the earth and subdue it. That's what the scripture tells us. But as a Christian community, we haven't translated this into the practical reality of working productively to change our circumstances and our environment. And we discover from the Bible that God's power and His presence is available to do just that. Our focus shouldn't be just being heaven-bound. Our focus should be on being productive here on our earth. And so this is the message that we as Full Gospel are carrying to the marketplace to the youth especially. We are so excited about our outreaches to the youth. We are going to the tertiary institutions, we are going to secondary schools, even to the uh, SHSs, to teach the youth what I consider to be the practical side and the reality of Christianity, not just the in better commerce, the that. spiritual side. Because we discover that Christianity is it's more practical than you can imagine. And we have focused, I would say, on one side and forgotten the other. The youth need to get it right to save yeah. this nation. They need used to have the right values. They need youth need to appreciate a culture for work and hard work as that, as that which will bring personal and societal transformation. The youth need to move away from this, you know, greed culture, corruption culture, easy money culture which is alien to what everything I know from the Bible teaches that. But we have the responsibility to make this known. And I believe that we can do it better 
from the marketplace as players there ourselves than from the pulpit in the church. None of us are paid to say or share what we share, right? So we're not under obligation to any organization or institution, but to our God himself. And so we tell our story, our own experiences, and we have a lot of experiences, uh, practical experiences of how to survive in the very hard times and very difficult times we found ourselves in. Without compromise, without corrupting, without compromising our integrity. And these, I believe, are fundamental lessons the youth of Ghana must hear. I want to, first of all, thank God for this great event because uh, it's marvelous and uh, we can feel the presence of God. And for that reason, me and my wife, we want to congratulate all the fellowship in Ghana for this great job he does for many years, 40 many years ago. And uh, I think that is the, uh, God appeared, or God who called all men and women in this country to continue to work for the salvation of soul. Oh, <laughs>